Well, good morning. Uh, this is welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I um, I picked up a little trailer, and uh, this this video is going to be about that that little trailer. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn it around now. Um, this trailer here is a 1970 uh, 1970 Apple buy is what it is Apple buy and a little story about this little trailer here is that oh probably about I first saw it it was probably about I say it was about 15 years ago that I first saw it sitting on sitting at somebody's uh, side of the house it's been sitting there for a while I always thought about asking them if they would sell it. Well, here recently, you know, 2021, I decided I was going to stop by. I was out. I was actually, I was out metal detecting, and it was getting a little dark, and I thought to myself, I'll go and see if they would be interested in selling it. Um, the gentleman had said yes, and he, he does have the... The, uh, the canvas to it, but canvas is a, is a little, is it kind of in bad shape. I think I'm going to try to put it, maybe patching it, or try to get sides fixed on it, or maybe even looking into getting the, uh, the whole thing replaced. But, a little story about this trailer here. <clears throat> so I asked him if it would be okay to sell it, and he told me yes. Uh, like I said, it's a 1970 Apple buy, but he told me that it was a, uh, it was called a holiday right there. Hello. How are y'all doing? But the actual holiday is actually the place where it was actually purchased because he did mention also that his, his parents had bought it in 1977 from uh, Holiday RV, and um, I, um, we talked for a little bit, and he said if, uh, he's glad that he, that I stopped by and asked him about it, the reason being was because this trailer was actually headed to the scrapyard, they were moving in June, it's now uh, May, so they're, they're moving next month, and he said that he was, he was, um, they were planning on, on scrapping it. Or, that he said that at one point they even thought about just gutting. I mean, there is really nothing to these trailers. There is no gutting. But taking off the top and making it into a small utility trailer. That given, I'm glad that I went ahead and stopped and asked him because I, I, like, I stressed to him. I said, please, whatever you do, do, please do not get rid of it. If you plan on doing anything with that, please give me a call first. He said, "Okay." As I was about to leave, he turns around. Uh, he turns around. He says, "You know what?" And I said, "What?" He said, "How much will you give me for it?" And I said, "Well, one thing like me, I hate to give offers. I'd hate to give a low ball offer. You know, I expected to, uh, I expected to walk away getting this thing for about four or five hundred dollars, even the condition that it was in." He says, "We do two hundred. I said, "Yep, I sure will." I drove home, picked up my ball. The ball is a one and seven eighths hitch on it, and uh, I got home, had a two inch ball on it, and so I went up and purchased uh, the one and seven eighths uh, ball and drove it home. Of course, the uh, wire harness there, I've been working on the wires, and the wire harness on it <clears throat> is a four way, but it's not a four way flat. This is actually the, uh, it's a four-way one on top of the other. Really weird. Anyways, so I replaced that. I'm replacing that. The lights do not come on. We're, it's probably going to be the first thing uh, we're doing. There's a project, Scott, you know, between me and my dad. Uh, he's he's uh, in the 70s, and I like spending time with him. And, and so it's just going to be one of those things that we end up doing together. But... Like I said, it's not getting any lights, but hopefully by the time we get the next part on it, uh, we got the lights going, 
uh, it is missing one of the lens covers on that side and but anyways um, we'll see if we can get uh, get another part going at some point uh, what I am going to do is I am going to end up uh, sanding all this down painting it I'll probably paint it black I've got this top part here I already pulled it off because it was it didn't have any wood down there and I didn't want somebody to accidentally step on it and bend it all up but uh, let's see if I can find the tarp the tarp please excuse my garage it is pretty bad the canvas I mean I'm gonna end up putting the canvas on it so that way I know exactly what I'm getting into but the canvas is pretty bad I've got some I got some holes there um, I might put it on there, wash it off, let it dry, see see what it's like, uh, see if it's you know, repairable until I decide what I want to do with it. But it does have some holes. Those are small holes compared to the uh, big holes that it's got. It does have some pretty big size holes. But let's see. That might be something I can fix right there put some canvas patch on it but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to try to save as much of it as I can but anyways uh, like I said it's got the tarp the canvas on it um, we'll see you on the next one all right so I just got through doing this right here on the back of the on the uh, back of the trailer here and uh, what it is, it's the uh, it's where it was purchased at, and what it looked like before is like this right here. It originally was red. I'm gonna go ahead and do that a little later when I get to pull the trailer out. But I thought I'd go ahead and let y'all see small restorations. Even the smallest ones, I think, is kind of cool. That that right there is actually looks looks pretty good. I like it. And uh, what I used is I use this painter's pen, the red, and it actually came in a pack, I believe it's four, because the reason why I got this is because it was the true red. So I'll see you on the next one, next, uh, next video coming up. So my dad and I decided instead of trying to search down another, what's the problem? This can only go upside down, up and down. If I do like this. Well, oh, what if you turn the light sideways? Can you not turn the light sideways? The thing, the whole bracket. Day two of working on this uh, little trailer. I've uh, decided to go ahead and put new um, new lights on it. <clears throat> I do have them working. Having a problem with them at first, I was uh, getting the the parking lights not working, and I come to find out that I had uh, burnt. I put uh, those little lights right there. Those are actually LED lights. <clears throat> um, but I was wanting to stay with something original, but I couldn't get the lens for it. And ended up going ahead and putting these. I put the uh, orange markers on the front, red markers on the back. Um, I got these at uh, Northern Tool. And <clears throat> I've re I'm rewiring the, uh, the, the lights. And... I've got these there, came out through the same hole. Um, I'm going to eventually replace the floor, but for now, I think for I think for now that's uh, that's okay. Those are the old lights that I had on there. Um, but let's see. <clears throat> for the side lights, I'm putting these LED blazer lights, uh, two two and five eighths inch clearance lights. Um, 
So far so good. I'm just going to have to remove that over from that fence there and put them on. And what I'm having to do is <clears throat> I'm putting those right there on, like I said. Uh, I went with the, uh, let's see, with the original hole that I had on there. Original hole there. And then just fed the fed the uh, line wire through there. But I'm getting kind of excited because I'm actually, you know, this is actually starting to turn out pretty good. But uh, got a lot of work ahead of it. Uh, eventually, I want to put, I want to put some uh, flooring, different flooring, and everything in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and get back at it, uh, putting these lights. We'll see y'all on the next shot. Well, she's got new lights. Uh, it's got, got to redo, of course, that right there. Put a reflector there, tail light there, little side markers. Painted that right there. Give her a bath today. She got a bath. I think tomorrow. This is Memorial Week, Memorial Weekend 2021. Tomorrow we're going to work on that right there. That part right there. I do have it. And so I'm going to probably put a three-quarter three quarter inch. Um, actually, what I'm going to do, the price of the price of boards is so high right now, but wood. But it is what it is. I'll pay it. I don't, I don't mind. But the wood under here needs to be replaced because all around the edge here it's rotted it's rotted it's not on the hinge but what I'm going to do is this middle part here I'm going to reuse that I'm going to repurpose that and put it right down here um, so yeah I'm going to repurpose a little bit of it so We'll see what's up next. All right, so we, my dad and I, we just got through. We hit this whole area with uh, a steel brush. Knocked off any of that rust, that uh, surface rust that it had. And we went ahead and repainted the, uh, the tongue there. Uh, and then, let's see, now what we're going to get doing is we are going to remove this uh, plywood here. We're going to reuse the center piece here for the uh, the area that goes right here. It's got the aluminum there on it, and we're going to reuse it there. And we're going to get busy at it. We're going to go ahead. There's my pops. We're going to go ahead and grind down these little things here, these little rivet pop deals, and get it off so that way we can see if that plywood is reusable. We'll see you in the next go round. So my dad was not happy with my circular saw. He said his will go right. So what he's doing now is what we're doing now is we uh, took the plywood off the top part we made a uh, pattern there for the front we're going to reuse that for the front part well there's the step got a new step on her now she is ready to be stepped on used as a ladder again Well, like I said earlier, is that we use the 
the plywood from the here's the old one it was all rotted we end up using the, the inside plywood the inside part of the plywood which is still good all right we'll see what's next